Number six then from paper two of the 2018 Hyatt nine marks here for the composition of functions. That's the small part of it. But you can see with the cosses and the two X, these six marks at the end are going to be for a double angle equation. Well, first part, what do these come to? F of G of X, well, what does G of X give you? It gives me a two X. What does FX do to anything you give it? It does three plus the cosine of whatever you feed into it. So that was a two X. G of X, well, what are you giving it? You're giving it F of X, which is three plus cos X. What does G of X do to anything you give it? It doubles it, so it'll be two times that, which I presume I'll just tidy up anyway to six plus two cos X. And then the big part, six marks. Determine the value or a values for which the first one is equal to the second one. So you just make the first one equal to the second one. Well, double angle equation, 2x, 1x, bring it down just to x's. So you expand this, look at the front, there's three varieties, get the one that matches cos. So that'll be three, or that, at this point I suppose I could just knock out that three with that and ignore it. That'll become two cos squared x minus one equals, and if I just knock that three out, that drops that to three now, plus two cos x. A wee quadratic, bring it all over to one side. Two cos squared x minus two cos x minus four equals zero. Now solve it. Well, Factorise it equal to zero. There's a common factor of two, which of course plays no part in it, but I'll leave it in because I know they like that kind of thing. So two lots of cos squared x minus cos x minus two equals zero. Now factorise that, which is fairly trivial. It can only be cos x times cos x. If it in fact factorises and you're not being led down to using the quadratic formula, Two can only be one and two, but it does work because to make minus one in the middle, it'd have to be minus the two plus the one. So now I've got two solutions. If that is equal to zero, then cos x is negative one. If that is equal to zero, then cos x is two. At this point, you start to get worried because you think this is paper two and this is all looking a bit too simple. I want to use my calculator, but you're not going to be using your calculator because you were told this was in radians, which you should know in the first place because there was no mention of degree signs. But it's all working out very simply because this one's got no solution in the first place. That's got no solution. Don't know if that does on its own or give the reason. The cosine can only go up as high as one. And the absolute value of this is two. And the absolute value has to be less than or equal to one. I'll give, that, I'll give the reason there anyway. Or well, you could write cos x is less than or equal to one, greater than or equal to negative one, but you might not even have to. It might be sufficient just to say no solution there. And this one, cosine. When is a cosine down at the bottom? That's halfway along, 180 degrees, or since it's in radians, pi radians, which makes that the answer to the whole question for nine marks. You get a bit worried about that, you think if I miss something, but I think that's correct. But Look out for mistakes. But I think it is.